John Nichols of The Nation told Fox News' Tucker Carlson that Democrats are playing a political game with impeachment. He said while House leadership has announced impeachment is not on the table, the Democratic grassroots are for the procedure. He called a discussion about impeachment healthy and necessary, but something politicians of both parties fear. My sense is that very problematic because if you are saying that the President of the United States has abused his office, if you are suggesting that he's doing things that are clearly impeachable, but then you say, well, but let's not talk about impeachment, that creates an unreality to the discourse. And I think, frankly, it's not appropriate, Nichols said on Tuesday's Tucker Carlson Tonight. I think that, a, a discussion of impeachment is healthy, he said. I think it's necessary. But b, it's also something that I think politicians of both parties tend to fear too much. Tucker Carlson, Fox News, Democrats, obviously, planning to impeach President Trump next year if they win the House. That's real. Their leaders won't admit it. That's odd. That story next. Commercial break began video clip Nancy Pelosi, House Minority Leader, I discourage any discussion of impeachment. On the political side, I think it's a gift to the Republicans to talk about impeachment. Rep. Jim Himes, D. Connecticut, the last thing this country needs is impeachment proceedings that move forward as a matter of course because we don't like the president. Sen. Bernie Sanders, I, Vermont, you can't jump the gun and determine that somebody should be impeached when you're going to be voting on the impeachment issue. It is too early to talk about impeachment. End video clip, Carlson, they're all lying. The entire Democratic Party base wants the president impeached. Jim Nichols writes for The Nation. He just wrote a piece asking why are so many Democrats afraid of impeachment? John Nichols joins us tonight. John, I don't think with you on much. Normally, I'd be here arguing with you, but I'm just going to give you a sincere compliment. I thought your piece was honest. This is the constitutionally prescribed remedy for a president, you think, has gone off the rails. I don't believe that, you do. But impeachment is the answer. Democrats support it. Why are the leaders of the Democratic Party not willing to admit that? John Nichols, The Nation, Washington, Correspondent, I think they're playing a political game. You assume that they would impeach if they got power. I'm not sure of that. Carlson, her. Nichols, I think that there is a tepidness about using impeachment as a live instrument of the Constitution, holding a president who has, as you suggest, gone off the rails, who I would suggest abuses the office to account. But clearly, at this point, there is a tremendous pressure on members of the party, on folks to not talk about impeachment. My sense is that very problematic because if you are saying that the President of the United States has abused his office, if you are suggesting that he's doing things that are clearly impeachable, but then you say, well, but let's not talk about impeachment, that creates an unreality to the discourse. And I think, frankly, it's not appropriate. I think that, a, a discussion of impeachment is healthy. I think it's necessary. But b, it's also something that I think politicians of both parties tend to fear too much. Carlson, what I like about it, and, again, I'm not for it, but it's above board. It takes place in public. And people can make their public arguments. And what they're doing instead is subverting entire federal agencies, and liberals should be worried about this law enforcement and intel agencies to do their bidding. Why do that? If you have a case, be a man about it, say what it is, voters can assess it. That's what impeachment is. That's why the founders put it in the founding documents. So, why would the leaders of the party pretend that's off the table? 
It just seems so feline and dishonest. Nichols, again, I'm not sure they're pretending, Tucker. We'll see if Democrats get control of the House, whether they would move on it. Remember, back in the George W. Bush presidency, there was a significant agitation at the grassroots of the Democratic Party, and frankly, beyond it, among a lot of folks, for impeachment of President Bush. Carlson, I remember. Nichols, I know you do because you actually followed it. Nancy Pelosi came to power in 2007. And one of her first signals was a bowl off the table. And so, this is a complexity on this issue. Now, where it goes back to, I think you and I both know is the Clinton impeachment. And there's a sense that the Clinton impeachment led to political repercussions for Republicans. In fact, if you look at it, the repercussions were not as great as some people assume. But I always remind folks that if you look at the Nixon impeachment, which, obviously, I wasn't brought to fruition, but was a fairly serious moment, there weren't political repercussions for the Democrats in that. And so, I do think that we have a lot of politicians on both sides, Republicans and Democrats, who avoid accountability moments and, frankly, avoid opening up the discussions when they should be doing so. Carlson, exactly. They're avoiding accountability. And I have to say, again, I don't think I agree with you on anything, including what to order to dinner, but I appreciate the honesty of the actual left in this case trying to hold your party, not mine, yours, to some account and to honesty. So, thank you, John, for doing that. Not a backhanded compliment. It's a sincere one. Thanks. Nichols, I appreciate it, Tucker. And I'm sure I won't get any pats on the back for it. Carlson, no, you definitely won't. Britt Hume joins us next for more on FBI spying and the latest twists and turns in the endless hunt for Russian collusion. Maybe he has evidence. He'll ask him next.